Now in this video we are going to learn how to use shared preferences in order to store the value. So now here I'm going to highlight the importance of the shared preferences before we go further. Now right, right now as you can see I am changing the progress of the zigbar and then now let's say just out of blue this application got closed and then if I open this application as you can see we are storing the previous value and then our zigbar is kind of uh kind of remaining or keeping the same progress so here as you can see if i set the progress to maybe let's say 82 and then if i kind of close that application and if i reopen this application still as you can see right now we have this 82 which is the current progress of our of our zigbar that's why so we are doing this we are achieving this with the help of the shared preferences now we are going to build this application from the scratch this basically the aim of this application uh, is to teach you how you can use the uh, shared preferences so now if you're ready now let's get started so here let's say in the main activity dot file so actually in order to show everything from scratch i'm going to delete everything and then i will be showing you uh, i will we will be coding alone so i'm going to delete this and then we, we are using constraint layout and also right here i'm going to delete this and then also here i will be remaining any other extra code which was which has been written so far and then if i create so and then i'm right now i'm pressing Control alt uh, l in order to format the code so right here what we are going to do is just we are going to open this uh we are going to expand this uh, view a little bit and then we are going to open this palette and right here we have this uh, text first thing we will be needing text view in order to show the progress and right here we have this widgets and then from here we will be using zigbar and then let's say i'm gonna kind of select all of this all of these components and right click and here i'm gonna make a uh, chain vertical uh, i'm gonna make vertical chain and then here i'm gonna constrain this uh, ui components uh, horizontally as well since we are using the constraint layout if we do not constrain them we will be getting error that's why i it's better it's recommended to constrain these uh, components and now we will be fixing the remaining stuff uh, with uh, programmatically so first i need to uh, split and then close this all the necessary un i mean the unnecessary paths and right here as you can see we have this text view and then here i'm going to open attributes and then here in the text view i'm going to say this is going to be txt progress txt progress and then right here and I'm gonna hit enter reformat yes and then here we have zigbar and then it's going to be let's say zig progress okay so right here we have progress and then hit enter and after that one so let's say I'm gonna delete this text because we don't need this text instead I'm gonna uh, declare in a uh, change the txt size let's say it's going to be 30 sp and after this one i'm going to define the txt style as well so txt style and it's going to be bold so that it can be visible and right here it's not what much parent and it's going to be it's not it's not going it's not wrap content it's going to be much parent so right here much parent and now so let me close this and then the, the same applies to the zigbar as well so here in this case we are going to change it change this to match parent and then let's say and then so here in the text view i want the text to be shown in the middle of the text view that's why i'm going to use the uh, gravity parameter so it's going to be center and now let's move on to the main activity file so in the main activity dot java file and then right here i'm gonna uh, declare those components let's say private and then here first component we had is txt view and it's going to be txt progress and then after this one we have another component which is zigbar so it's going to be zigbar and then zig progress so right here and then after this one we have this shared preferences this is the main uh, component which we will be using in order to store our uh, integer value and after this one we have this uh, this this also has to be uh, private private and then after this one we have this uh, another uh, variable uh, so it's going to be private uh, final static private static so it's going to be static final and then it's going to be final and then it's going to be string and right here uh, it's going to be let's say key and then right here we say stored stored value actually it depends on your preference depending on your preference you can change it so and then after this one first thing we are going to do is just we are going to initialize these components first thing okay so it's going to be txt progress find view uh, by id and then resources so here we say resources.id. Uh, dot so here it's going to be txt progress and then after this one next component is the zigbar so here zigbar and then here 
findview.idr.id. And then right here we say zigbar progress. And after this one, I'm gonna dig, uh, kind of, I'm gonna initialize also shared preferences. It's going to be shared preferences equals. And then here get shared preferences. And in the name right here, actually it is optional. Whatever you write, for instance, let's say I just write random. And then here in this, uh, I'm gonna declare the context. Context. So here basically, uh, context. So here basically context mode private. This means that I want this variable. I want this variable only. I mean, I want this variable to be used by this application. Only this application, not other application. That's why I'm just declaring this context as a private. And after this one, what I'm going to do is just here, I'm going to declare another variable and it's going to be value, which we will be retrieving from the shared preferences. That's why it's going to be shared preferences dot get shared preferences and then get, get in. So here we need this key and then it's going to be different value it's going to be zero because in case if something goes wrong or in, in case uh, we are not able to uh, retrieve the value of this shared preferences in this case it's going to return us zero and then after this one with let's say i'm going to take the i'm going to set the progress uh, which we are getting from the shared preferences and then dot set progress uh, set text sorry and then right here uh, since this uh, value is integer it's not string that's why we have to carry out simple conversion uh, from string to int that's why uh, from int to string integer to string and then right here we will be saying value and after this one i'm gonna uh, change the progress of the zigbar so it's zigbar progress and then it's going to be set progress and it's we are gonna pass uh, this value this is uh, integer and then right here and then if I run this application, so we are going to run this application in order to make sure that nothing is going wrong. And then right here, as you can see, we are getting zero because right now the default value is also zero. And now we will be writing the remaining logic in order to uh, carry out, in order to make possible what we've seen, in order to uh, make possible. So here, let's say I am going to continue with Zigbar. So it's going to be Zigbar. It's not Zigbar. It's a Zigbar progress. And then here so set on zigbar change listener and the new uh, view and then right here i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is just when the when i pro when i change the progress of the zigbar we are gonna uh, get the progress of the zigbar by int value right here so first thing we are gonna do is just we are gonna display the value of the cha this changed uh, value of zigbar uh, in our text view that's why i'm gonna do is the, I'm, what i'm gonna do is txt progress dot set text and right here as i said this is gonna this uh, set text uh, receives a string value that's why i'm gonna convert the int to string value for this i'm gonna write uh, integer to string and then right here int so as you can see we have just successfully changed the value of this i mean displayed the value of the zigbar in the in our text view and then now i'm going to kind of update the value of the shared preferences and for this i'm going to write uh, shared preferences dot editor and i'm going to need i'm going i need new object which is called editor and then now here we say shared preferences dot edit and then after this one let's say editor dot so we say uh, put int because we will be putting int value that's why right here we need key and as you can see this is the key value which we declared early on above and then right here is another parameter is the value which we will be putting into this shared preferences in order to be stored that's why it's going to be uh, i value which i am receiving from this progress which is the progress of zigbar and after this one finally we are going to apply our changes and now we can run this application in order to check if it's working or not if i run this application right now as you can see the initial progress is zero and if i change as you can see now the value of the zigbar is changing in this and uh, this changing value is getting displayed in our text view and now in order to make sure that our changing value is getting stored in our shared preferences what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna close this application completely and then i'm gonna reopen this application so as you can see if i reopen this application we are getting this progress and then so this uh, this means that our progress changing progress or the int value is getting stored in our shared preferences so basically this is how you use this uh, shared preferences for your application so if you like this video please give it likes leave comments and thank you so much for watching